Hey guys, I'm Algina and today we're going to do some important questions from class 10 on nutrition lesson 2. So let's get started. So in this video, I tried to include all the possible questions that can come from this chapter in all the various forms like fill in the blanks, MCQs and descriptive ones. The PDF of all the questions is, is attached in the description box. So if you want, you may first solve it on your own and then we can discuss the answers. So uh, starting with the first question. Le système de l'éducation en France A. So we have three blanks that we have to fill. So the answer is public, gratuit et obligatoire. Now this is an important question which may come as a subjective type also. So, sh so you should know that the education system in France is public, free and mandatory. The next question is, on pourrait avoir des dashes du gouvernement pour payer le frais des études universitaires. So we can avail dash from the government to pay for our university fees. So that is scholarship, le bus du gouvernement. Now this question can come in another form. Here the gouvernement can also be given as a blank so they can ask from where can we get these scholarships so you have to write the government gouvernement next question après les études secondaires on s'inscrit dash after our secondary studies we enroll in a so the answer is a l'université now in case you get confused in this question that if you are talking about if the question is talking about india or france since we have options here, just see that all these belong to the French education system. In the question, if there is a chance of such a doubt that to which uh, education system it is belonging, they will usually mention like in France or in India. But since here we had options, so we could figure it out. So we go to university after our secondary education, which is basically lycée. So fourth question is, qu'est-ce que la Sorbonne? Now you might not have heard about La Sorbonne and you might think where uh, is this term in the chapter. So on the last page of your entrejean there is an image of uh, La Sorbonne, La Université de Sorbonne. So uh, this question was in one of the sample papers and I haven't seen this in actual exams yet but since it's boards so you don't want to take a chance it's a very simple answer la sorbonne est la plus ancienne université en paris créée par robert de sorbonne it is the oldest university in paris created by robert de sorbonne so just remember it is the oldest university in paris la sorbonne so the next question is que peut-on faire dans un iot this is again a very important question you must know the full form and what we can do there. So l'IUT est l'Institut Universitaire de Technologie où on peut faire ses études de technologie. Very direct but again very important and a very repeated question from the subjective part. The next question is Écrivez une lettre à votre mère en lui expliquant le système éducation de France. Write a letter to your mother and explain her the education system of France. Now this can come in your section B, uh, expression écrite. Now I haven't written the whole letter here, you can do that. I have just mentioned a few pointers that you can include. Again, this is a very important question from this chapter. Uh, both France as well as India can be asked, but France is a more uh, frequent question. So you can include points like le système de l'éducation est public, gratuit et obligatoire. You can uh, extend it by saying jusqu'à saison en France. And now mention about the different age groups. At what age children enter which school? So à deux ans enfants entre l'école maternelle, then at 11 and whatever age group they enter, lycée, collège and all. You can write it out in this format. Then talk about uh, obtient le diplôme de brevet au collège. Now very very important even if you don't mention this, this has to be there. This is like a key point. On obtient le diplôme de brevet au collège and le diplôme de baccalauréat. I have just written bac which is the short form but whenever you write your answers always write the whole like whole full form not just the short form like here. Uh, now be very clear. 
at what stage we get which diploma so au collège we get brevet and back in lycée il peut ensuite faire ses études des études supérieures à l'université à l'université so after which we can do our higher studies in a university or even you can write ut so these were a few points which you can keep in mind this is a general format which you can follow for both india and france just change the facts and the information accordingly the next question is si l'examen de dash qu'on passe pour entrer dans une université it is this exam that we have to pass to enter the university now let us look at the eighth question as well quel diplôme obtient-on à la fin des études secondaires en france so if you see this question says which diploma diploma do we obtain or do we get at the end of our higher studies in france so if you see both of the questions the answer is same it's just dif- it's just framed in a different manner the answer is baccalaureat now i'm just writing a short form do not do this in exam write the whole answer and for since this is just uh, fill in the blank you can just write baccalaureat but here you have to frame it that uh, a la fin des études secondaires en france on obtient le diplôme de baccalaureat now this is just like saying that uh, what certificate do you need to enter a college in india and this question is like what certificate do you get after completing 12th so both answer is same but it's just framed in another manner so uh, just take a note answer is baccalaureate and do remember to frame it well next question is l'enseignement en france est gratuit et obligatoire jusqu'à a dash till which age is education in france free and mandatory so it's 16 in france comment down below and tell me what is the age for india 10th question again important si on n'a pas les moyens de payer le frais de ces études dans les universités que peut-on faire if we do not have the means of paying our fees for our higher studies in the university what can we do so si on n'a pas les moyens de payer le frais de ces études dans les universités on peut demander des bus du gouvernement i think this was the first question et travailler à mi-temps so the scholarship bus du gouvernement is important so if we do not have the means of paying our fees for the studies in university we can ask for a scholarship from the government or work for part time and you can enhance your answer by giving giving an example of a part time job like maybe sitting working in a supermarket looking after kids okay that's maybe sitting but uh, washing the cars whatever you can give an example and enhance your answer just remember that in french your descriptive answers are not very long it's all about how you frame it so just don't straight away write answers or write in points properly frame the que- answer you can take the starting or the beginning of it from the question itself like see on a pale moyen de payer so see i just copied it just like that and then started to form my answer so you can follow that so that you do not lose marks next question is un étudiant passe 6 ans dans une école primaire en france vrai ou faux that is true it's uh, that a student passes 6 years in a primary school in france just go through how many years a child passes at each stage in each school so that you can answer such two or false questions or even fill in the blanks a quel âge les jeunes entrent ils au collège at what age do uh, the young people join college so it's at 11 years now again write it and a full this is a descriptive question so don't just go and write 11 like this form the answer and then write it next question on peut faire des petits emplois comme we can do small jobs or like part time jobs like so you can write babysitting or working in a supermarket whatever you can write here next is relier et recrire so you have to match the following and rewrite the answer i will just tell you the matching so first one is échoué échoué means to fail so you fail an exam so échoué un examen so this is for a this is from a small box on uh, in your entrejen with all such phrases so it's from there 
next one baccalaurea we know lise so b university so university is faculty they both are similar next brave brave we know college d and last kudir technology ut we discussed this earlier this is e next question is again match the following this one is entirely from that box with all the expression first one is onse so it's ala fac fac is the short form of faculty which we just discussed i guess in the previous slide next passe a concours now this is important sorry a you passing a concours means to appear for a test not to pass to pass is this one so you see this is a un exam see here we don't have a but for the you see you pass at a test so e here next suivre une formation you follow a particular course and sortir de l'école to get out of school next question decrive le système éducatif en ond again i said these two questions very important generally since this is a long answer this does not come in that descriptive subjective part but instead as a letter that explain to your friend or to your mother so you can write the same thing in your letter as well so l'enseignement en ond est public gratuit obligatoire jusqu'à 14 ans un enfant va d'abord à l'école maternelle puis l'école primaire et ensuite à high school après avoir le diplôme de secondary school certificate examination il entre dans un higher secondary où il obtient le diplôme de higher secondary il peut ensuite faire des études supérieures soit au collège soit dans une école professionnelle so again very important i must say that always whichever educational your system talk system you are talking about france or india always mention the diplomas and when you get them so in india the education is public free and mandatory till 14 years a student uh, a child first goes to ecole maternelle is like preschool kindergarten whatever that is called puis l'ecole primaire then into primary school and then higher high school after which after completing high school they get a secondary school certificate examination which is class 10th and then they enter into higher secondary which is 11th and 12th where they get their higher secondary school certificate after which they can complete or continue their studies at a college or a professional school next question is a quel age les enfants entrent-ils à l'école maternelle en on at what age do the children enter the pre school kindergarten in india so that's at 2 years again reminding you write the full answer and not just the number next 18 le baby sitting with the what does baby sitting mean so you have to explain in french so it is gars de les enfants to look after the children that is baby sitting 19th question Tous les enfants doivent recevoir une bonne éducation. All the children must receive good education. True or false? That's definitely true. And the last question: Il faut dépendre entièrement de ses parents pour faire des études universitaires. We must entirely depend on our parents for our uh, education, for our university education. So that is false. We should look for. Um, scholarships of the government or work part time so that was all from this chapter the most important questions are about obviously uh, the education system and how at each level what diploma do we get at what age do we enter and how many years we pass give more importance to france and i hope now this chapter is clear i tried to cover everything the pdf with all questions and answers is in the description box so you may check that out and that was all for today's video hope you enjoyed don't forget to hit the like button share this video and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in my next one till then take care and bye bye